Hello Microtronic fans, happy 2021, it's a new year. Overall I'm pretty satisfied uh, with my Microtronic Next Generation SPI OLED display version. It works uh, pretty well and of course it was mainly intended for programming tasks. However, I also gave it digital inputs and outputs so that I could connect um, Bosch electronic kits modules to it and make experiments. There are lots of electronics experiments described in the Bosch Microtronic manuals. Um, basic experiments like reading digital inputs and digital outputs. So we have four uh, GPIOs, so four bit output registers shown here, the four rightmost um, LED segments. And then we also have four digital inputs. The first uh, experiment one makes um, is of course to check whether one could reliably read uh, high and low from the digital input, right? So there's a little program loaded here already. So which goes as follows, um, display the content of register zero, then read in from the digital inputs um, the current status of the input port into register zero, output that register to the digital outputs. So we will see the LED light up, right? And then loop. So let's start that program at address 20 and let's run it. So what we see is zero, right? I have connected one push button here to the um, bit number four. So value eight, right? If I push a button, you can see that the display changes to eight. And also since we are outputting the red in value to the digital output port, we also see when I push a button that it lights up. And um, so I made a mistake actually. So originally I uh, figured I do not need um, pull up uh, or pull down red um, resistors, right? Because the Arduino actually has internal uh, pull up resistors. So I figured I will just use these. But unfortunately then of course the logic levels are inverted because then a zero counts as a high and uh, vice versa. And then I would either need to change the software or the original programs would need a change from the manuals or I would need to change the circuits, right? So then I figured, okay, so I really cannot um, use the um, input pull-up mode for the um, inputs. Rather, you know, I just need non-inverted non um, logic levels zero, um, ground meaning zero and three to five volts meaning one. But then the issue is really that <clears throat> the Arduino inputs don't work reliably and you really need to pull down resistor in order to read um, zero uh, reliably, right? So here, this only works actually now because I have a pull down resistor here. So basically, um, if the button is not pressed, then it connects the input to ground. So there are no floating inputs. If I remove this wire here, you will see that um, once I push it, right, it actually is stuck. So it doesn't go back down unless, you know, I force it to ground again and then it's even floating at some point. So it takes like a couple of seconds, you know, to go down. So obviously we need a, we need a pull down resistor here. Only then it works reliably, right? So let me remove that again and you see the bit is stuck again. So that's certainly a mistake I made in the in the board. So in the next version of this board I will add um, pull down resistors, so 4.7 kilo ohms typical. Alright, and here's the next experiment. So <clears throat> the issue with the um, pull down resistor and floating inputs, um, of course, it does not occur if you connect it to, um, you know, electronics, really. Here's the next experiment. Here we have the um, counter module, which is a um, BCD counter with a display. And um, this guy here gets a clock signal. It also has a reset signal. And then you see basically um, <coughs> that it counts. So we are generating the reset signal and the clock signal. Uh, with a program here, with a Microtronic, right? So initially, you know, the display is uninitialized, so you get eight. And now we have connected the digital outputs to the clock and the reset um, lines of that counter. And you see now um, reset has happened, right? So I can now manually provide a clock signal. Um, there's a program here at address 10, which does the following. 
So um, starting at 10, display uh, register 0, input from the keypad um, the value into register 0, and then output that register value to the digital output port, and then just loop, right? So what I can now do is by basically toggling the bits in the digital output port, I can basically clock and also reset. So the clock signal for the counter um, arrives at is, um, pin 1, right? Oops, I made a mistake. So it's waiting for input. Now if I say 1, see how I'm toggling um, that bit basically, right? Bit number 1. So it needs a falling edge as a trigger for the counter, for the clock signal. And then uh, I can also reset it with the other. This is output line 2. There you go. So floating inputs uh, it's of course not an issue if you um, have it connected uh, to a real circuit and you don't have any unconnected open inputs. Now this nice little counter module has another uh, neat feature which is the counter value is also output, uh, being output here. It has a 4-bit digital output which is um, positive uh, TTL. So 0 for uh, ground and 3 to 5 volts for 1. So <clears throat> we are reading now the digital outputs into the Microtronic um, over its digital input port. And what we can do is um, we have a little counter program which targets basically, provides the clock for the counter module. And then we are reading back the current counter value and we are displaying this in the Microtronic uh, display. So the way that works is we are displaying registers 0 and 1 and then uh, we are moving now uh, 1 into register 0 so and we are outputting the, the 1, right? That is the uh, high clock value and then we are moving 0 into register um, 0 and then we are outputting register 0 again so this is a falling edge of the clock signal and now we are reading in over the inputs from the counter into the microtronic inputs um, the current counter value into register 1 and we are displaying this right and then we just loop something got erased here from my previous hiccup let's see what that does all right <clears throat> so you see here fast flickering led 1 which is the clock signal right um, and then you see that <clears throat> the value which is provided here from the counter is being read by the microtronic and you see in register 1 here the second uh, register here on the display is actually the same value so we can also slow down or speed it up so this is a maximum speed the counter running crazy and then we can of course you know slow it down by adding some delay to it and you see that <coughs> the microtronic display and the counter display um, shows the same value. Alright, that's it. So I'm pretty happy that um, even though it wasn't meant to for conducting um, electronics experiments with the Bush system, it is still somewhat useful. I mean, if you have um, floating inputs like the open, um, the open switch here, you need to add pull-down registers in order to reliably read a digital zero, right? Um, Otherwise, with digital logic, of course, it works out of the box without additional circuitry. So I'll make one more version of this Microtronic Next Generation board, and then that bug will be fixed, and I will be adding pull-down uh, resistors. Thanks, guys.